Today I'm going to teach you how to make 10 vodka cocktails that every single bartender needs to know. These are classics and the most commonly called upon cocktails that you can expect to be ordered at any bar. If you're a bartender and you don't know how to make these, you're in trouble. And if you simply enjoy mixing up cocktails at home, these are classics for a reason and you're gonna wanna know how to serve them up. Before we get to mixing up these cocktails, this is the perfect moment to talk about today's sponsor, Zbiotic. You're gonna wanna try this stuff before your next night of fun and cocktails. Zbiotics is a probiotic drink that breaks down the byproduct of alcohol, which is most responsible for rough mornings after drinking. This is how it works. When you drink, a toxic byproduct of alcohol builds up in your unprepared gut. It's the byproduct, not dehydration, that causes you to feel terrible the day after drinking. So Zbiotic produces an enzyme, like the one your liver uses, to break down this byproduct. This is real science that works. No random plant extracts, no off-the-shelf ingredients. They even offer a 100% money-back guarantee if you're not satisfied. And this is how to use it. Drink one bottle before your first drink of alcohol. Drink responsibly and get some sleep. Then enjoy your next day feeling fresh and ready to make the most of it. Get 15% off your first order of Zbiotics pre-alcohol probiotic by clicking the link in the description box and use my code THIRSTY at checkout. You're welcome. Now let's get into these 10 vodka cocktails. The vibrant and fruity apple martini or apple teeny for short. I actually just learned recently that this was originally known as the Adam's Apple Martini because the bartender who created it in 1986 was named Adam. Back then it was simply apple juice and vodka, but like many cocktails, it's evolved a lot since then. We're gonna go in with a half ounce of lemon juice, a quarter ounce of simple syrup, one ounce of apple pucker, and two ounces of vodka. We're gonna shake this up real good, strain it into our martini glass, and garnish with a cherry. Mmm, it's a sour one. The Cosmopolitan, a Sex and the City fan favorite. Cosmos are sweet with a touch of tang from the lime and boozy, but you can't really taste the alcohol making these dangerously drinkable. In our shaker, we're adding a half ounce of lime juice, a three quarter ounce of cranberry juice, and a three quarter ounce of some orange liqueur. And then last, we're going in with an ounce and a half of vodka. We're gonna shake that up real good, strain it into our coupe, and then we're gonna garnish with a lemon peel. For this cocktail, you can also use a lemon wheel, a lemon wedge, any of those will really work. You need to know how to make this. People order them a lot. The sex on the beach. This is my go-to cocktail when somebody says, make me something fruity. This is a great cocktail for someone who's new to the alcohol world, or maybe they just don't like to taste the booze. We're actually gonna build this one directly into the serving glass. Seconds add up when you're busy behind a bar. If you can skip using a mixing glass or a shaker, you're saving time, honey, and time is money. In our serving glass, we're gonna add a half ounce of peach schnapps, an ounce and a half of vodka, an ounce and a half of cranberry juice, and an ounce and a half of orange juice. We're gonna give that a stir and garnish with an orange slice and a cherry. This is a 21 year old's dream cocktail, the sex on the beach. The screwdriver. Now this is a simple two ingredient drink that I find most people nowadays will simply call it as it is. They'll be like, hi, can I get a vodka OJ please? Vodka and orange juice, that's it. But occasionally you will get someone who will call for a screwdriver, so let's not let them trip you up. Here's how to make this simple drink. So in our highball glass, we're gonna add an ounce and a half of vodka, and then we're gonna fill it to the top with orange juice. We're gonna stir that up real good and garnish with an orange slice. Easy peasy and a nice, hefty dose of vitamin C. If you have fresh orange juice at your bar, the gun orange juice, I don't know if I would even recommend it. Caipirosca. This is a cocktail that is similar to a caipirinha, but prepared with vodka instead of cachaca. The most perfect, refreshing vacation cocktail. Cut up one lime into quarters, and then we're gonna add it to our mixing glass. We're gonna add an ounce of simple syrup or one tablespoon of granulated white sugar. Personally, I prefer using simple syrup in this cocktail. I know some people swear by the granulated sugar, but as a bartender working behind a bar, I find that the simple syrup is more efficient because it's faster to pour. You always have simple syrup right there in your well. You don't have to go looking for some sugar. And it also helps to really fill up that rocks glass. Using granulated sugar, you're just gonna have less liquid. People like to complain when your glass isn't full and I don't wanna hear it, okay? I'm gonna use the simple syrup. 
Last, we're gonna go in with two ounces of vodka. We're gonna shake that up real good, roll this cocktail directly into our serving glass, and then enjoy a refreshing caipirosca. We're halfway through this video, and if you're finding it helpful, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you're a new bartender or cocktail enthusiast, we will not let you down. The Dirty Martini. This is actually one of my favorites. Now some people may want this made how it was originally made with gin, so be sure to ask before pouring it up, but in my experience, it is definitely more popular nowadays with vodka, so that's how we're gonna make it. In a mixing glass, add three quarter ounce of some olive brine, a half ounce of some dry vermouth, and two ounces of vodka. We're gonna stir that up real good, and then we're gonna strain it into our coupe or martini glass and garnish with some olives. I'm finishing this one. One extra note on the dirty martini is that some people may order this extra dirty or filthy. This simply means to go heavy on the olive juice. Extra dirty, that's how I like my martini, yes. The spicy and refreshing Moscow Mule. Moscow Mules are served in copper mugs because the cold metal insulates the liquid inside, keeping the cocktail cool and refreshing. However, if you do not have one, don't let that stop you from whipping up one of these delicious cocktails. You can use a highball or a Collins glass instead. First, we're gonna add a half ounce of lime juice, two ounces of vodka, and then we're gonna top it off with some ginger beer. We're gonna stir that up real good, garnish with a lime wedge. This one is super popular right now. It's been for a while and I don't think it's going anywhere. So you need to know how to make this. Sweet, strong, and sophisticated, the espresso martini is a cocktail to be reckoned with. This is the ultimate after dinner cocktail. If you serve food at your bar, this is the easiest upsell to recommend to your guests after a meal. Who doesn't love an espresso martini? Like this video if you like an espresso martini. In a shaker, add a half ounce of simple syrup and one ounce of espresso. Next, we're gonna go in with a half ounce of coffee liqueur. We're using Mr. Black. And then last, two ounces of vodka. We're gonna shake that up real good, strain it into a coupe, and garnish with some coffee beans. There you have it, the most perfect pick-me-up, the espresso martini. Next up, we're actually gonna do two cocktails in one. This is another great after-dinner pick-me-up, the black and white Russian. In our serving glass, we're gonna start off with two ounces of vodka, and then one ounce of coffee liqueur. Give it a good stir, and then garnish with a cherry. Top this with heavy whipping cream, you now have a white Russian. The Lemon Drop Martini. This is by far the most commonly ordered vodka cocktail at my bar, maybe only second to the vodka soda. I've made like a thousand in my day, probably more, probably like a million. People love to sip on these as a martini. They love to shoot them as shots. When they're drinking them, they're not drinking them alone. You're making a round of shots. You need to know how to make this one. The recipe is the same for shots, just a little bit less of each ingredient. So if you wanna know how to make the shots, check the description below. First, we're gonna rim our glass with some sugar and set that aside. In a shaker, add a half ounce of lemon juice, a three quarter ounce of simple syrup, and then two ounces of a citron vodka. Most bars usually have a citron vodka, but my bar that I work at actually does not have one. You can also do an ounce and a half of regular vodka and a half of triple sec instead. We're gonna shake that up real good, strain it into a coupe, and garnish with a lemon wedge. Be sure to keep all 10 of these recipes fresh in your mind when you're behind the bar. Watch this video next for more bartender tips and tricks.